Thank you so much. Ah. Oh, you just… Oh, he just broke my heart. <laughs> Sadhguru, my uh, first question is, uh, I'm not able to pull out uh, myself from the grief. Like, you know, whenever I see a child begging on the street, girl or a boy, I just, my conscience just keeps biting me like, you know, you are not doing this for them, you are not doing that for them. So, um, then I talk to myself saying that if I could earn unlimited, I could do so many things for them. So, I want to, I don't know how to get out of this, uh, fe this feeling. Whenever I see, I just, you know, my legs start walking towards them and uh, I, I just uh, spoil the mood for myself. So how to how to how to be practical? Like how it's too much of emotion which is disturbing me. You see, uh, there is an unfortunate reality in the world, particularly in our country, where uh, many people have not eaten properly. A lot of children still go to bed without food in their stomach. This is a reality. But today, there is some encouraging news because United Nations has made a study and shows in the last decade, that is from 2006 to 2016, they made a study and they said about 270 million people in the country have come out of the poverty line in the last ten hours, ten years rather, in the last decade. It's a fantastic news, isn't it? You're not saying anything, huh? In this country, where over 1.4 million children were dying of malnutrition before they become five years of age, has come down by nearly uh, 430,000. Still 970,000 are dying, but we must celebrate the success, very important, because Everything needs a momentum, success needs a momentum. If you grieve over things which are bad, you will give momentum to those things which are bad. You must give momentum to those things which are solution. Don't give momentum to the problems, give momentum to the solutions that are happening. And the choice that you and me have is just this, do we want to be a part of the problem or do you want to be a part of the solution? This is all the choice we have. Now, let us say ten people are miserable here. More than ten faces are looking miserable. <laughs> let us say ten people are miserable here and uh, because I see these ten faces, I will also become miserable. miserable. Have I solved something or have I added to the problem? Added to the problem, now there are eleven miserable people. So it's very, very important that if we want solutions, we must go beyond our natural, you know, reactive emotions that we have towards various things and look beyond that and see what is the solution. For that solution we must strive continuously. Will the solutions happen immediately? No. Maybe it'll not happen in our lifetime. But are we a part of the solution? Always are we a part of the solution. Will all of you young girls take this stand in your life? You will always be a part of the solution. Hello? Always. No matter in what situation you are, whatever the situation of your life, it could be personal, it could be social, it could be national, you are always a part of the solution. You will not take sides with problems. Hello? This one thing you take in your life, you will see, you will know the joy of unfolding all your capacity. When you're part of the problem, your possibilities will not come out. When you're part of the solution, you will do things that you never imagined you could do in your life, simply because you will unfold into that possibility. So just become part of the solution. This does not mean you are the solution, no. Because there are people busy always creating new problems, if you solve one problem, they create a new problem. This happened. Can I tell you a joke? You all right? You're not too serious for that? No. 
a woman in Tennessee, you know our center in the United States is in Tennessee. So uh, a woman in Tennessee was marrying for the fifth time. So she was uh, just a day away from marriage, she was having dinner with her fiancé. And she served him mushroom soup and he took in a spoon and uh, nice candlelight and romantic and everything. Then uh, he asked, how did your first husband die? Uh, she said, well, he ate poison mushrooms and died. <laughs> How did your second husband die? Oh, he also ate poison mushrooms and died. Now he kept the spoon there. But how did the third one die? Oh, in fact, he also ate poison mushrooms and died. Now he got terrified. He asked, how did your fourth husband die? Well, he died of a broken neck because he refused to eat poison mushrooms <laughs> So what do you want to have? <laughs> Let's be part of the solution. We are not the solution on this planet. We are part of the solution. We are adding to the solution. We're giving energy and strength to the solution. That's all. Will we solve everything? No, but we must have the fulfillment in our life that we have been a part of the solution, not part of the problem.